Today in Matt's class, I am going to show you how to illustrate a transition called Dissolve. By definition, what a dissolve is, is whenever you have moving footage that is gradually replaced by more moving footage. By the way, you should know this already because I have a video that came out called Entertainment Industry Terminology, where I talked about a lot of the transitions, including dissolve. This transition is not to be confused with fade, where you've got it gradually transitioning from moving footage to a specific color or from a specific color to moving footage. This is moving footage that transitions into more moving footage. It happens over a period of time, we call this a dissolve. Here is how you illustrate it. This is gonna be a really weird example. I'm just doing really quick drawings just so you guys kind of get the hint. Let's say we've got a shot of Snoopy. Who doesn't love Snoopy? All right, so Snoopy is chilling out for whatever reason. I don't know why you would want to do this, but let's say we want to dissolve from a shot of Snoopy and gradually it's going to change into a shot of Charlie Brown. What this means is Snoopy is going to start to disappear. And at the very moment Snoopy is disappearing, we've got Charlie Brown appearing. So I'm going to draw the dissolve last, but I'm going to draw what we're dissolving to first. So here we are down here. I'm gonna have Charlie Brown. Good grief. So I don't know why you would wanna dissolve from this image to this image, but bear with me, work with me here. This is what we're gonna do. The way that you indicate a dissolve, you're gonna slash through from corner to corner, X-Men style. This gives you four triangles. The triangle on the top and the triangle on the bottom, you want to shade in dark. You would wanna do this nice and neat. Again, these markers are just kind of really scribbly and it's hard to get a nice even tone. So this looks very unprofessional, what I'm doing now. You would wanna use rulers and you would wanna use Sharpies to really get these in nice and dark. Then very simply, you write the word dissolve, and this is kind of the international symbol for what dissolve is. Again, uh, kind of what this is, you're reading it from left to right, and so you've got one image. This kind of looks like the uh, twisty pasta or the bow tie pasta that's twisting to the other. There's nothing twisting, but you've got one image that is being replaced by another image over here. That's why we illustrate it like that. And that is how you illustrate a dissolve. There is a shortcut though. Let's say you draw these images and you forget to put the dissolve in there. You need to somehow get a dissolve in between. Instead of moving these all down and drawing another one of these. By the way, if you think that you get a hundred dollars for drawing this, you do not. You only get paid for the frames that you're doing when you get paid per storyboard. Something like this, it's a transition. No one's going to get a hundred dollars for doing that, just so you know. So another shortcut that you can do is if you've got a panel like this, let's say something, I don't know, wild is going on here, whatever that is, You've got another panel here of something else happening in another scene. I don't know what that is, but let's say you want to have a dissolve in between them. All you have to do, you can simply connect the corners in the gutter space of these. You write the word dissolve. And that would let people know that from this shot here to this shot here, there is a dissolve in between. Sometimes you have storyboards that are side by side, depending on how the templates are arranged. And if that's the case, it would be the same thing, where if you've got something going on in this panel here, something else is going on in this panel here. But if there's supposed to be a dissolve in between and you didn't think or or for whatever reason, you just didn't have one of these in the middle of it, very simply put, you could just cross through the corners like this and in the gutter space in between, you write the word dissolve. Is there a reason why you would do one versus another? 
I actually like doing all of my transitions this way, if possible, just because it's a little bit cleaner. This ends up getting kind of messy, and over time, there's gonna be lots of notes and scribbles, and you're gonna have you know, the director and the fight choreographer and the cinematographer, your DP. Everyone's gonna be writing little notes and jotting all over the place in the corners. So the cleaner you can kind of keep these at the get-go, the better. So I like to keep everything neat. Plus, if I'm doing storyboards for someone and I'm handing them in, if I spread things out a little bit more by having transitions like this, when I hand someone my work, it just looks like I've done more because there's more frames, even though it really doesn't make a difference between doing this and doing this. It's not like I really drew more, but it's spreading things out and it just feels like it's a little bit more work. People feel like they got a little bit more of their money's worth from what I am turning in. So I like to do them this way myself. Easy peasy mac and cheesy. That is how you illustrate a dissolve. Lock and load. Next time we are coming back for one more transition, we are going to talk about wipe.